Sometimes my faith in humanity is restored. Then I get on Facebook and it just knocks all that right back out. Welcome to Bullman Built RC if you've never been here before and welcome back if you have. Today is kind of like a new truck Tuesday, but not really because it's not really my truck, but I got a truck that I got to give. You'll see. Just hang on. Hang on. Just stay with me. We'll go through it. I got on Facebook one day and saw a post where a guy was trying to sell a truck and then was just basically wigging out because no one wanted to buy his truck, which was probably a little overpriced, and that he was just going to set it on fire, throw it in a dumpster, etc., etc. Basically, I said, you won't. Snowballs. 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 So then I hit him up and told him about my friend Glenn. Glenn is one of my favorite human beings that I don't live close enough to that I don't get to see enough through the year. He runs Appalachian RCs for kids. Basically what he does is he collects parts, trucks, chargers, radios, tires, wheels, etc, etc, axles, puts them all together, makes trucks for kids, and then gives them away. I gave him a Sendero at Beat the Creek, he gave it to a little kid, I also donated another guy a truck that'll be given away, I think some ra uh, raffled, auctioned, something, I don't know. Be given away at some point in time, like I think in September, so in about a month or so. Um, not, you know, whatever, just this is how things went. So basically this guy said, that would be super cool, I don't want this thing anymore, something about health problems, he's just out of it, yada yada yada, and I was like, uh, cool, Thank you. just figure this out. Figured out how to get one of my other friends, special shout out to Todd, up there to meet him, to get the truck, and then I got the truck from Todd. So, this is what I got, surprisingly. So here's a little story, not about how my life got flipped turned upside down, but how I got this truck. And how I knew of this truck, really. My friend Jake bought this truck, this truck, at Beat the Creek two years ago, I think. Drove it there, either sold it there or sold it shortly after. It changed hands, I believe twice, ended up in this guy's hands, this guy didn't ever drive it, etc, etc. So now uh, he was trying to sell it, give it away, yada yada yada. Uh, I sent, got pictures of it. Whenever I got pictures of it at the first, I think it was in the first post, here's what it looked like. It had this god-awful Powermaster body on it that had been painted with the wrong paint on the inside uh, that um, as soon as I put it in the truck, the paint started flaking off, so I just started smashing it against the bumper, not smashing it, like smacking it against the bumper, and the paint is just falling off. I'm not even going to give him this body. This thing is, I don't know what you're going to do with it, but it's, I don't know, maybe I will, I don't know, He'll, I'll let him figure that out. The truck that I knew had this body, it was a J Concepts 80s Chevy, I think it might actually be like an 86, 82, 84, or something like that. Painted up kind of like the Harley Davidson edition of the Fords. It's got like the orange and the gray and the black. Interesting body for sure. Someone has cut the shit out of it. Uh, I hate this all a lot, but um, it is what it is. It was free. Um, so, this is the truck. Um, I believe it used to be a Sport. I'm pretty sure it was a Sport and then just had a different um, body put on it. It does have aftermarket wheels and tires. These are K&K now. I'm not really sure what Colton calls them. Uh, they used to be K&K wheels when they were bought. Now my friend Colton from RC Chop Shop actually owns this part of uh, the K&K wheel thing. He bought it from Mike Calvert. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, RC Chop Shop has these wheels if you want them. He's making them. Uh, RC four-wheel drive Mickey Thompson Baja tires. These are the Baja belteds. Um, and then basically after that, it's pretty much a stock TRX4. Somebody has flipped the bumper mount upside down to move it up. No one's moved the battery. Still has an XL5 with a Deans. Uh, someone did put a aluminum arm on the servo, which is pretty cool. And it's got an Integi diff cover. And then it has portal covers of some sort that I'm going to assume are Integi. Um, Looking over this thing, I don't think it's been driven since Jake had it at Beat the Creek, and it's definitely collected a lot of uh, dust, some sort of animal fur. It's not cats, I don't think, because I wouldn't be able to be around this thing at all. Um, but I'm going to blow it off, get it all cleaned up and everything, and then uh, go from there. I do want to make sure it works. Glenn told me, oh, it's not a big deal, like he's got plenty of stuff, but like, I would like to be able to give this away at Rocktober again to another kid and then 
have them be able to drive it and have Glenn not have to worry about messing with it. I've got like six weeks. I've got plenty of time to get this thing running. So I got uh, that. <clears throat> this is the underside. Like I said, it's dirty, but it's not really like beat to death. Oh, are these aluminum? Hey, those are aluminum housings too. Okay, so it has aluminum housings as well. Uh, don't know if it has gears in it. Let's see here. Doesn't appear that it has any under or overdrive. I mean, it's not bad. The shocks leak a little bit, you can tell. But um, it's it's honestly a decent truck, especially like for a free giveaway truck. Uh, so I got that. Um, then he gave me all the rest of the stuff. Oh, this has a Fly Sky radio, I think. Fly Sky GT5 uh, is what the radio comes with. And then he gave me a couple batteries. Um, so I have this box in here. Yeah, so I got a battery case. Um, two brand new Dean's Plug 5200s, another 5200Z, a 3000 milliamp Reedy, um, and then a 2200 milliamp as well, a spare tactic servo. No clue what that is. And then the wild coincidence that this dirty ass truck also came with a whole can of Mooklin. This can is literally full of electronic cleaner and degreaser so like could have sprayed this whole damn truck down but just didn't for whatever reason i i don't know whatever oh, i got hair everywhere um and then it also came with this charger so i got a high tech x2 um, so this is pretty much brand new it looks like so i've got the plugs i have a couple of these plugs I've got the DC power box. I'm not going to throw that because I'm going to put it back in there. Um, this is literally a ready to run with everything truck. Uh, I got it for free. So I am not looking to make any money off of this. I may end up splitting some of it up just to give some things away a little differently maybe. Like put one battery with the truck, find a kid that needs Dean's plug you know like batteries or something like doesn't have lipos etc etc this charger i don't know what to do with um, i don't know how glenn does all that the one thing i don't want to do is put glenn in a situation where i'm somehow giving him a what i would consider a decently upgraded nice truck once it's clean with a charger with batteries you know with a remote with the cleaner, which I'll probably end up using on that. This is an aftermarket remote as well. I don't want to give this to some kid. Um, and even though it's not really my problem and whatever, I don't want it to be a, this kid over here got a really, really, really nice truck and deal and everything. And then some other kid looks at that and is like, what the hell? I got a piece together Red Cat Gen 7 with an axial transmission on an element frame with like, <clears throat> I don't know. That's how my mind works as far as uh, with kids. With adults, suck it up and get over it. Um, with kids, I'm a little more a little more patient, a little more forgiving, and uh, a little more thoughtful. So, I don't know. Uh, you guys tell me, how should I do this? Should I just give this all to one person? Should I split it up between a few kids? So, do I give this to one person? Do I break it up into, like, batteries and then maybe give the charger away to somebody and then give the truck away to somebody? Uh, how do you think I should do it? Or does one lucky kid just get all this, I sponsor it, um, and uh, this is what it is. Like I guess that I have no money in this at all. The guy gave it to me literally for free. And then it is going to a very good cause slash charity, whatever. Uh, like I said, Glenn is an awesome, awesome dude. I freaking love that guy. Uh, for a guy I only see twice a year and have only met seven or eight days, nine, 10, 12 days, something along those lines. He's one of my favorite freaking people in the world. You guys let me know what I should do. I'm going to pack all this up. I'll give you some real close hero shots, and then that will be all. So I appreciate you watching, and I will see you later. Bye!
Welcome to the channel if you've never been here before, and welcome back if you have. No, I want to say welcome back. Who is actually a friend of Doug's that. Doesn't even matter. Painted up kind of like the Harley edition. Um, the Harley. No. He's one of my favorite freaking people in the world. I talk to him on Messenger. He sends me videos, whatever. You don't even care. Just fucking cut all that out. Anyway. The, um, I want to say hypocrisy. This thing's literally clean. Or not literally clean. Idiot. Of course it's clean. Hypocrisy? No, it's not the right word. What the hell word am I looking for? Coincidence? It's a Jace, uh, shit days of mailbox Monday? Nope. Nope. Today's not mailbox Monday. This is New Truck Tuesday. Kind of. Not really. 